And we have a highlight here. It's falling for Churling off again. Ball in. Foster. Oh, off the bar. Get out, get out, get out the fuck. Jesus Christ, huh? How's your luck, lads? Okay, we gotta go. Let's go for it. Come on. But, okay. Burnley up. Burnley with this highlight, it seems. Get your header out. Good lads. Clear it. Oh, that was a ball and a half from Madsen. Oh, my goodness. What a goal. What a goal. I can't deny that. That is just fabulous. Those up. crosses have been so brilliant from Burnley. Like, my goodness, that is just tremendous work. Like, there's nothing you can do about that. Like, the ball was cleared, and like, what? Like, that is just a fucking brilliant cross. And that's, that is carbon copy of the first Burnley goal. Like, who's on the opposite side, and Foster just heads it in. Like, the cross has been just exemplary. Like, like there's nothing, there's nothing I can do here, unfortunately. It's just, they've just been better on the crossing. Just been a better team. Just been a better... Yeah. That's it. No, look, it's it. It is what it is, you know. Just gonna see this out now, it seems. Hmm. I'm also gonna just see this out now. Yep. That'll be the end of it. Yeah. Seems like it. Uh. That's it. Yeah. Game over. Can Bernie get their. Bernie get their proverbial heat back from uh, from Turf Moor. So. Yeah. Put Sheffield United right on your heels. You're ahead of them on goal difference. Yeah. And Luton storming up the table as well. They were fucking bottom three at one point. This league, I tell you. Right. Let's. Okay. So, let's see how that affects the league. So, Goals so results wise, Norwich did beat Birmingham in the end. Goal is between Blackburn and Bristol, that really keep affect us really. Stoke for Huddersfield Neil nil. That's um that's taking a, a bit of a, a real off stroke stroke there, even though they're still bottom of the table. Um Cardiff beating Hull 2 0. Nine men hull that is. Uh Borough beating Reading 4 2. That's important to us, as is QPR beating West Brom 2 1. Um, Coventry 4, Sunderland 1, Watford beating Rotherham and Luton smashing Wigan 6 1 away from home. Crikes on the bike. Um, yeah, <laughs> we won Maloney, yeah. We won Maloney, yeah. Uh, so what has the lead? How does that affect the lead table then? So, yeah, as expected. Um, yeah, the moral of the story is we have to beat you, Dave, to, to keep in the race. That's the that's the moral of the story now for that's next one. one. That's, that's yeah, one. I think uh, I think quali automatic qualification is probably done, so it's up to the playoffs really. That's that's the that's the challenge now. Anyway, I, I think it's we need to do our pressers anyway. We can muse upon the uh, results after that. So I think you're starting up first. So, yep. 
Well, Dave, another defeat for your team. It's uh, the winless streak continues now to uh, six games and uh, another one that lost to a promotion rival. How do you feel this game has gone for you today? It's not gone good. Um, look, we played right into uh, into Sheffield's hands. You know, it's uh, it's been a story of our season. You know, when you face Sheffield at home, you have to score first. You know, if you don't score first, um, they're going to dig in and, and, you know, you're going to have to come out and break them down, which is difficult for us. We've not been able to do it. Um, if you look at, you know, the game at home, uh, we beat them 2-1. We struck first. They have to come out and try and break us down. That gives us a bit more freedom to, you know, use the wide areas. It gives us a free, bit more freedom to go at Sheffield. But when Sheffield get the first goal, um, it's a real challenge for us to try and get out. We had our chances. Look, our, our finishing was terrible today. It was awful. We had chances to to score first, which would have given us an advantage, you know, against how Sheffield play. But yeah, look, that's football. Um, we had our chances. We didn't take them, and we suffered for it. So look, we've got a you know, our biggest game of the season next week against Millwall. Um, that's at home. So, yeah, we'll see what that brings. And hopefully we can end this, uh, you know, this this league losing streak. I know we beat Blackpool in the Cup last week, but, uh, you know, that's the FA Cup. This is our bread and butter of the league. We want to get into the playoffs. We want to try to get back into the Premiership. So, yeah, we'll see how next week uh, goes and take it from there. Okay, thank you very much. And have I turn. Jonathan, a humbling defeat against a team that's, uh, look, they're storming. They want promotion. They're one of the top teams in the league. How do you reflect on that? Um, well, look, it's not it's not great to lose at home. Obviously, we try not to make a habit of it over the season. But uh, but as you said, we're, we're go- we were going up against a, a team that, like, on, on paper, have been, they, they, they have been better than us over, over the season. Um, I think the game uh, that we had against them uh, earlier in the season was kind of a good reflection on, on today's game, really. You know, could have gone either way that game and uh could have gone either way for us personally. Um I think really the difference was the 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 width of both teams. You know, it was well documented we've had a few injuries in that those key areas and we're bringing players back in now as well. So like Danny was playing for the first time since his comeback. Um oh yeah, got a couple of minutes in the FA Cup, but it's different when you're in the championship and you're going up against a a promotion rival like Burnley. Um it was, we just didn't really have an answer for their cross and their their they they played tremendously. I think we played really well ourselves. I think we played we defended quite well. We um you know we had a lot of discipline in that back line, but it's very hard to defend those crosses. They're absolutely pinpoint. Um and as I said, sometimes that's all you need to to score a goal in this championship. And when you have a striker as good as Lyle Foster up front, able to put the, put his head on those uh, crosses, you know. It's up to our defenders then to do the, to do what, what they can. I think we're a bit wasteful up front as well. I think uh, Andres will probably look at some of those chances and think he would have put them away. So look, three one on the scoreline, but I think performance wise, we can be we can take positives out of it. Um, and you know, it's probably not the best weekend for us overall league wise. But um, look, a loss is a loss. We lick our wounds. We have to go again next week um, and uh, try and put us to bed. So that's what we'll do. Thank you. Thank you. So, and so we go again. Yes, we do. Mm. To the biggest game of the season. This is the biggest game of the season for us, isn't it? Because, like, strictly mm. speaking, like, like, uh, like you did, you definitely need to win against us. That's for sure to stay in in with a the shout. Yep. Then, for me, it's more of a an issue to actually just keep up with the fight and again depending on how that result go, how the rest of the, the the league goes that that weekend i'm either in play or i'm not so i look let's come here there's still like 20 games to go but still it's um it's gonna get a bit of pressure now for our, our uh, <laughs> individual challenge isn't it this is the this is the last time we're gonna yeah. beat them until uh yeah, 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 yeah. until potentially end of the season so I need to win to get level on points with Birmingham. Yeah, 
But that, 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 that's a goal difference as well. The leapfrog me. Cardiff have now won as well. So they're now on 40 points. So you, Cardiff, and Sheffield United are all on 40 points. Luton and Rotherham are on 39 points. So that little gap between 7th and 12th is so tight. Mm. It's so tight down there. And we've lost another left back. <laughs> Scott Malone has been injured now for three weeks. Jesus Christ. So once again, the injuries are piling up one more time. Now we should we should have someone for left back, but um, but it's just very little coverage. Very little coverage in our in those areas. No. Curious now, was there anyone we can fall upon? Here we go, the styles. I think I'm going to call up. Oh, okay. We have a loan offer for Tom Bradshaw again. Well, Sheffield Wednesday this time. Okay, interesting. And tell you what, lads. They don't want to buy them. Cookies anyway. <clears throat> right. And staff meeting. Sure, who doesn't love a staff meeting? Hmm. Might be able to just look at progress and all that jazz. Hmm. A lot of players uh, develop and they're declining, which I'm not very happy with. That's what we might have to keep an eye on in the, for the time being. Okay, right. Interesting. I'm going to say Kolodziak is signing in the summer. Well done. Beautiful. Mm. Another experienced centre half to bring in because I mean, defence needs a bit of a bit of a boost. Yeah. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, 
Okay, so it's on a new scout there uh, in the meantime as well. So staffing is looking quite healthy now compared to everything else. Feel good. It's always good. Yes, absolutely. I'll never say no to more staff. So it is a conundrum for myself to decide. So I'm in two minds whether to start putting some players out for sale because I've been told that some of them are starting to struggle for um in regards to uh their performances and stuff like this. So I think there's only really one player I could adequately see being not worth it. So I'm gonna try and see if I can sell him on. Um Amity as well, as I say, he's just uh fortunately he is not uh he's more of a burden on the wage bill than anything else. So that's why I'm looking at now. Yeah, I'm looking else. at some of my players' trainings and uh gonna have be having words with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can imagine. And there's no one else really don't want to I don't want to spin off straight away, considering that like, you know, I do kind of need them. But <laughs> But like I said, yeah. if we can sell this one player, I might be able to at least get something in, you know? Yep. No, I get it. On the Ben Lloyd. Get yourself out on loan, lad. Birmingham, Birmingham are trying to get Gillespie from Newcastle. Mm, fair enough. Lucas Ribeiro from Hoffenheim has been offered a contract from West Brom. Okay. So, uh, our club captain, Sean Hutchinson, is making moves of wanting to leave. <laughs> oh, then. no. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> at least uh you're not struggling to work within the way, would you? Mm. Supporters are giving me a B plus, but the board are giving me a C plus. Apparently, they're very disappointed with the finances involved to sign Jack Moylan from Shells. Why? Oi, oi, oi. So, right then. Sean Hutchinson has handed in the transfer request. Cash in. Cash in while you can. That is exactly what I'm gonna fucking do. Two one England. Thanks. Is this Italy not qualifying for another tournament? Not automatically, anyway, because I think Ukraine might. Uh, pick <laughs> Ukraine, Ukraine are. Uh... No, that's wrong. No, it is right. Ukraine are three points ahead of them, but Ukraine are fucking losing to Malta. No, they're they're oh, level now. Winning. I think. They're winning, they're winning, they're yeah. winning 2 one. Oh. Yeah. If they don't qualify for the for the Euros, that's two major tournaments they've missed out on. Italy. Mm. It's nuts, isn't it? That's crazy, man. Who have they who have they started? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Christ's sake. No wonder that defense is shocking. Mm. 
Norton is set to move on loan to Plymouth. Hmm. Like you find got to wish you got rid of him. Loan you because you've been struggling for form. He agrees. That's uh, at least that's 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 fair of him, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. He yeah. had to go, so you know. Hmm. Blythe on loan to Swindon. Excellent stuff. The more youngsters I can get developed, the better. Yeah, not going to be able to afford anything next season. Brandon Cooper's out for a day. That's all right. It's only a day. Wednesday at the minute. That's fine. So how's the nerves, Dave? Are you ready for this uh, encounter? I'm preparing myself for a bollocking. So anything <laughs> more than that. Is a plus, right? You know what I mean. I'm I suppose it, it because the last I, time didn't go so well. So I, I am expecting a measure of revenge for Swansea, considering it's a it's a home <laughs> turf. I mean, I would be expecting it. So they we'll better go out and fucking start stabbing people, man. This is getting ridiculous. Hey, hang on now, hang on now, fucking minute here. Like you, your your fan base isn't the May West now either when it comes to a Wales derby. So <laughs> let's not fucking let's not be throwing knives in glass houses here. All right. Just Look, saying, just saying. I'm just doing it your way. I'm just doing it your way. Oh, thanks, uh, Man United. Tendon Mengi has been recalled. On the eve of a big match. On the eve of a big match. You know what? Fine. Wow. Fuck you then. Fuck you then. Right. <laughs> okay. Adopt, adapt, and improve. Because if that's oh. the case, then. I can get another player in. Aye, aye, aye. So, all right, then. Okay. Fuck you in particular. Let's go for loan. All right, let's see. I have so many players interested in coming to me on loan, and I just can't afford any of them. Mm -hmm. Some of them are good fucking players as well. Like, Matty Longstaff wants to come on loan. Jesus. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get him. That kid's on some out of some wage. Fucking hell, like he must be on some wage. Who is? Twenty five grand a week, and he's not even the best long staff. Jesus! Wow. Ah. <sighs> Loads of good players that want to come to me on loan that I have the choice or interested in a loan move. Can I afford any of them? Not a hope. Okay. Because all of them want a 100% wage pay. And I can't offer that right now. Troy Dean. To be fair, he probably do a fucking job again. A finish 
player by the name of Daniel O'Shaughnessy. Yes, I know of him. I've heard of I've heard his name before. Okay, right. Abandon ship on that possibility. Who else is around? Very fucking little, apparently. Okay. I'm looking for a certain player in particular, which is why okay. I am having a gawk. Like, I'm not going to get them in before the match, but I do. I would like to get somebody established in. Ooh. Okay, no. See, the wages are, the wages are being a problem. The wages are being a massive problem. Apparently, all these players have contracts up in the summer, and I can't fucking can't do anything with them. Yeah, can't open them with contracts. My wage budget is near three hundred fifty grand. Hmm. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Let me see. The what? An option here. This is this is a possibility. Hmm. Bear with. Fucking nineteen-year-old from Chelsea on about thirty grand a week ago. On. I should be able to make a f no fucking money even for wages. That's fucking unreal. Fucking ridiculous. I hate this fucking yeah, club. Fucking bow of poverty these cunts have. <laughs> I'm trying to sign a fucking defender. It's like there's no wages available. It's like there's no wages. No, no. They literally just let <laughs> literally just let go of a fucking player on loan. Like what the shit, lads? Come on, give me something to fucking work with. Do you want to get promoted or not? Like. But how much of that was paid by them is the question. So are you really gaining an awful lot? Do you know what I mean? Well, that's the, this. You see, this is the trade off. You see, because I can't sell these two players because they're fucking injured. So by the time that the window comes around, like it's a catch twenty two. You know, I'm stuck with what I have essentially. Well, if you look yeah. at the news, um, John Dal Thomason is on the brink of being sacked. In the while we're talking about managers, um, <laughs> oh, like so take yeah, you, you, you saw it too. <laughs> what the f look at that? That it's that experience wow. he has that's clearly got wow. to save Huddersfield from devastation. Oof. SC resumes full training. Fuck off, SC. And not to say that um, things have gone um, have sour between myself and Sean Hutchinson, but I've just made Jay Cooper captain. Hmm. So that's what happens when you cross me, Sean Hutchinson. So a week of, 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 um, of, of tumultuousness at Millwall ahead of this crunch game that could define our season. And I can't get anyone in to do it. I've lost defenders left, right, and center. What could fucking possibly go wrong? Literally, what could go fucking wrong? Oh, God. Okay. Right. Okay. Unfortunately, not the TV game either, Dave. Um, that is uh, Robert Sheffield, who fucking Ray... Because that, that, that mid-table clash is what people want to see. Anywho. Hey, team selection time. It's, so it begins. Here we go. Here we go, you, indeed. The viewer, are now the neutral because me and Jonathan are about to embark <laughs> on the second game in which the first time I was absolutely demolished 8 2 
at the den. However, yeah, this is my turf. So let's keep it to mm-hmm. a reasonable 5-1. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, thanks. Lovely, great. Anything less, less is more. I suppose. Hmm. I, I, I like it. I like that your 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 optimistic approach really uh is really gonna help your team here. I expect the worst, and I can only get better. That's uh, that's Let's one way of looking at it. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Sunshine's and fucking daisies. Here we go. Okay. Go. You ready? No, nope, still making. No, nope, still making choices. Making one quite important choice at that as well. One that could define the game for me. We shall see. You will find out now momentarily. <laughs> Go. Let's fucking get at it. And there's our team sheets. So, ooh, you're pretty much full strength there, aren't you? By an arch. Yep. So, two things you'll notice there is Bury is in. Joe Hodges, Hodges in as well, and on the yeah. bench, Roman Essay. No, oh, fantastic! Yeah, fantastic. Uh, right. We are on the way in the Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking go. Clock isn't working on my screen. He started so, him. so was that a 4 2 4 I see, Dave? Don't know, is it? Or 4 2 2 4 2 2 2? Is that the way you're going with it? I don't know. I'm studying, I was studying your formation and the preamble here, so that's why I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, I knew what you Shoot, were going I mean, for. I knew you were playing with I knew you were playing with holding midfielder. Yeah. Well, we'll see now. I have to make the midfield count now. That's the difference. Right, and we are away. Okay, ready and injury for us. Hodge Hodge is already out. Battle of our time. (laughs) Yeah. Hodge is already out. Hodge is out? Yeah. Really? Yeah, gash leg. There's nothing you can do about it. So Styles is in to replace him. First highlight. Of course it goes no Well, let's see. Oh, hello. Yeah, look at that. Oh, no. Go on. Oh, what a save. Well done, Bender. Fuck's sake. What the fuck was he doing? Giving it straight to Volga Samuel. Like, what the fuck that, is that? That was a carbon copy of the of, of the home game. That We got a goal from that. The Kyle Norton pass. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just call it the Norton. Head it out. Yuri still has it. Go on, Jackson. Go on. Shoot. Shoot. What are you doing? You fucking should have shot, you prick. Stay the open goal. You could have taken it. Right. This is it. Come on, lads. Oh. That troll, troll. Okay, all right. Early pressure here from Millwall. Yep.
dominating most of the midfield, but mm. whereas it looks like my width is uh, where I'm getting the low from. Oh, hello, free in for you guys. Oh, here we go. Terrible. Whitaker whipped that one in, lad. That's oh, it. Oh, we're on. You got it. this, surely. Yes. yes. That's it. That'll do. That'll fucking do. One nil shot. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. Oh, my other Femi's taking a knock, so in comes yeah. Mabude. Yeah, but the, our boys are just caught their heels there a little bit. Oh. Ooh, chance for us now. Hello. And it's no! Get fucking in there. Didn't have to wait long at all. That's more fucking like it. The big man, the new Millwall captain. Rightfully fucking so. Right down the throat of Swansea City. Get in there. Right, now to keep that up now. Come on, lads. My last possession doesn't win games. I know every time you're stopping for tactics as the clock stops. Yeah, trying for you guys here. All right. Manning, ball in. Shackleton gets to a first. Go on, Shackleton. man. Now, Pfeiffer, don't let him have the ball. Come on. No, that's that's it. poor. Ball. Come on, lads. Break out. Oh, ball. Ball. Flog timer's true here. Come on, man. You've got this. Shoot. Shoot. Yes. Come on. That's how you fucking do it. Oh, right. He had me going there for a second. I thought he wasn't going to pull the trigger there, but what a run that was. Holy shit. He had Bury for cover as well, but still. Just waiting for the keeper to do his bit there. Okay, right. This is going to be pretty... This is going to be a big fucking 45 minutes for us here. Hang on. I don't know. What have we got going there? Okay. We've got still got possession here. All right. We've got space to run in here. He's... Four of them all pressing on the ball. Fury! Fury's in! Go! Yes! Come on! Fucking Fuck get in there. Fucking stupid defender, man. Who are you fucking going to one fucking player? That's a fucking brilliant cross in from Mitchell. Fucking great fucking play. Shocking, man. 
Okay. Fucking great. He just has the he had the midfield midfield to play with there. Brilliant. Right. Just before halftime as well. 